Hi friends, thank you so much for clicking on this video today. First of all, obviously say hello to Milo. He will clearly be making an appearance for most of this video. Um, thank you so much for clicking on my channel today. I wanted to do my project pan update for September, August, August slash September. Today is September 1st. Um, so I mentioned in my last project pan update that it was very much like a maintenance month and I had a feeling I was going to finish a good number of products in this update and I have an amazing update and I'm very excited about this so yeah let's just get into talking about my goodies here. all right the first product that I want to talk about here is my benefit highbrow pencil um this is what we are looking like now it is getting down to be a bit more of like a nub um this has been in my project pan since the beginning of the year i have been working on this and i've made some good progress like you can see on the um pencil there like how much we have sharpened it i will include a picture up here of what the pencil looked like last month and i use this every single time i did my makeup in august i use this 29 times in the month of august for a grand total of 193 uses on the year. This is just like a super light pink pencil that the intent of it is to like put it under your brow as like a highlight, but I actually just put it in my waterline and use it as like a brightening kind of effect. Um, so this is gonna take me a long time considering I have used it so much already this year and still have a good ways to go. Uh, I'm not anticipating this going out anytime soon. It'll probably take me through the whole year, if not longer, to finish this up. But I am very excited to see some good progress on this one. Last month, this product weighed eight grams and today it weighs seven grams. So we saw a little bit of weight change there. Next product I have is my Too Faced Shadow Insurance Eye Primer. This has also been in since the very beginning of the year and I have gotten a ton of use out of this. So in August, I also used this every single time I did my makeup for 29 total uses for a grand total of 213 on the year, which is absolutely insane. And we're very close to finishing this up, but I think this one could be done next month. I was going back and forth on if I would want to like cut this open and scrape product out, but I frankly don't like this eye primer that much. I have others in my collection that I way prefer, so I don't want to waste the time like using up every drop of product in here when I have other ones that I would rather use instead. But I'm, I'm feeling pretty confident that this one could be done next month. We are like down to the wire here. Like I am twisting and squeezing product out every day because it is almost gone. So I'm really, really happy about the progress on this one and I will be really excited to roll this out next month. Um, in July, or last update, this weighed eight grams. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh shoot, I messed that up. This weighed four grams last update and weighs four grams today. This weighed eight grams last update and weighs seven grams today. I mixed these up on my spreadsheet, I apologize. Um, but yeah, very close on this one. Next, I have a very exciting empty. This has also been in since the beginning of the year, and this is my LA Girl Pro Conceal uh, concealer in the shade Vanilla. I am calling this empty. There are product, there is product in here, but same with the shadow insurance. I have other concealers that I prefer over this one, so I don't want to waste the time scraping product out of this, to be honest. Um, but you can see. I don't know if you can see that just the like gap almost here between the two edges of the product because it is all the way down here and you they can't touch I don't know if that made sense but um I'm so happy to have this one rolled out this felt so good to get out for this month um I used this product 17 times in the month of August for a grand total of 159 uses on the year this will feel really, really good putting it in my empty spin. So last month this weighed eight grams and now it weighs six grams. And again, this is an empty, so we will be rolling in a product to replace this one. Next, I have my ColourPop Super Shock blush in the shade Between the Sheets. And this is what we are looking like. You can see that I moved the product around a little bit and repressed it a bit. Um, it was starting to get too big of a pan in the middle for me to be able to get stuff on the side so it was pretty easy for me to just like 
folded over almost in the pan here. Um, so this is looking a little bit different than what it looked like last month. I will include a picture of what this looked like last month as well. Um, but this product is just like starting to dry up. And so I want to get this done. This is between the sheets here. Um, and it's a really pretty blush. It is what I'm wearing today. I love this blush, but this is also helps me remember how long it takes to get through these super shock blushes, any blush, but these specifically, um, this has been in since the beginning of the year and I have used this a ton. So in the month of August, I used this 13 times for a total of 107 on the year. And then last month it weighed 20 grams and today it weighs 19 grams. So we did see a little bit of weight change there, which is exciting, but this will also this will probably take me into next year if I want to work on this still. So, yay. Another very exciting empty. Um, I have been working on my Wet n Wild Tinted Hydrator in the shade Fair. Last month I mentioned that I had depotted it essentially into a little um, tub and I can gladly say that I have completely finished this product. I ended up like cutting apart the packaging and putting it all in here um, and now it is all gone. I'm so happy to have this done. I really, really like this um, foundation, especially for the price. This is only like six bucks, um, but this took me a while to use up and I'm very happy to have it done. Um, so in August, I used this 13 times for a total of 88 uses on the year. This has been in my project since like March, I think. Um, so not quite as long as some of the other ones, but this feels good. It feels good to finish up a foundation. It feels good to finish up a concealer because that stuff takes some time and some effort. So I'm really, really happy to be rolling this out. Last month, this weighed 17 grams. Today it weighs 15. Um, so use two grams of product, which is great. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to roll in something else for this one as well. Hi. All right, next I have my Bite Beauty Lipstick Duo. I am currently working on the shade Fig in here. And this is what our little lipstick is looking like now. We don't have a ton left in here, but lipsticks take a while. This is probably gonna take me a hot minute. I used this as a lipstick and as a cream blush a few times this month. Um, so I really like this color. It's very pretty, but not really like a super everyday color for me. Um, I feel like I say the same thing in these videos every time, whatever. Uh, the other side in this lipstick I have already finished, um, but I want to finish Fig over here so then this whole thing can be an empty. So. This has only been in my project for a few months. Last month I used this seven times for a grand total of 17 uses. Um, and I'm excited to keep getting some use out of this and eventually roll it out of my collection. Um, this is an older product. So uh, this one will also be really nice to finish up soon. Lip products are just not easy to finish. So, oh. Last month this weighed 12 grams and it still weighs 12 grams today. So we got a ways to go on this, but I'm excited. I really like this color. Next in my ongoing saga of using up all of my mini Tarte lip products, um, I have the Tarte lip gloss in the shade Bell. And I can gladly say that I am calling this an empty. I have scraped the sides on this as much as I could and there's really not much product I can get out now, especially not to cover my whole lips. <laughs> so this one was a little bit harder for me to use than the last lip gloss. That was a much more like neutral color. Um, but I'm really glad to get this one out and have another one of these done. I think this is my third of these little Tarte minis finished. Um, so that's awesome. This year that is. Um, yeah, this one was not really easy, but we did it. Uh, so Last month I had to use this two times to get me to 13 total uses to finish this up. Did not take a whole lot, um, but I'm really happy to have another one of these rolled out. And last month it weighed 11 grams. It still weighs 11 grams today, but it's an empty, so I'm happy about that. 
we will be rolling in another product for this as well. All right, next product in my project pan is the Tower 28 Super Dew. I had mentioned in my last update that my goal was to hit pan on this product, which you can see I did. Big, big pan in the middle now. And I think I hit that on like August 3rd. Um, and then I think I've decided I want to really use my project pan as a way to finish items instead of just hitting pan on them as much as I can. Um, so I'm going to keep this one in to finish actually. Um, we've made a lot of really good progress. Like I can see where it's no longer like flushed with the outer packaging here. Um, so this will take me a while, but it'll feel good to have this one out too. I know Tower 28 products in general have a tendency to like go off fast. Um, so I think the more I can focus on this and use this one up, the better. In August, I used this a total 19 times for a grand total of 67 uses um, in the on the year, actually, not just in the product project. Um, but we will continue to work on this one. Last month, this weighed 38 grams. Today, it weighs 37 grams. So gonna keep chugging along. Next I have my Milk Hydro Grip Primer. Um, this has been in my project I think for a couple months now. Um, I got this last year and last year um, and I've really been enjoying working on this. I do like this primer. I don't think it's my favorite ever um, but I think it does look really nice. I do have it on under my foundation today. Um, but my goal is to finish this. I don't think I've mentioned this on a lot of them, but my goal is to finish the products now, unless otherwise stated. Um, but we've gotten some really good use on this one as well. Last month I used this 17 times for a grand total of 109 uses on the year. Um, you can see the line markings on here. This is where I was last month and this is about where we are today. Um, so we've made a decent amount of like very steady progress on here. Um, I still think this will probably take me another like three, four months to finish, to be honest. Uh, but I don't have a ton of primers in my collection. This isn't something that I feel like I need to be rotating through quite as much. Um, so yeah, we will continue on this one. And last month, this weighed 64 grams and today it weighs 59. And finally, I rolled this in last month with a pretty lofty goal to finish. <laughs> um, and I'm going to continue to work on it until I do. But this is the e.l.f. Putty Bronzer. This one is in the shade Tan Lines. Um, I have used a good bit of this. Like you can see the uh, dent in this product here. Um, but I recently started using a different brush to apply this with. And I think it's making the progress go a bit slower, which is fine. Um, I am still using it most days. Uh, but it's also made it get this like weird center thing here. I don't really know what that's all about, but it's fine. I just the stippling brush and the way that the brush works and everything. So it is what it is. Um, but I used this 28 times this month, which is again, almost every single day for a grand total of 87 uses on the year. Last month, this weighed 26 grams today. It weighs 25. So this one's going to take me a while. But I do really like this bronzer as well, so we'll just keep chugging away at it and see how long this takes me. So I have three products that are rolling out. My LA Girl Concealer, the Wet n Wild Tinted Hydrator, and the Tarte Lip Gloss. Um, so I will grab some new products to put in here, and I'm excited. This will be fun. All right, I have three new products to roll into this project and I'm very excited about them. A couple of them might seem kind of like gimme products, um, but I'm fine with that. That's the whole point of this project is to finish things up. So regardless, the first thing I'm gonna roll in is my Tarte, I think it's the Amazonian Clay like stick foundation. I have this in the shade Light Beige. Um, this is definitely getting older in my collection and I would love to roll this out to finish this up. Um, so I just want to pop this in my project, use it for a couple months maybe till it's gone and then be able to say that I have another empty on the air. So you can see how much we have here. It's really not a ton. I did end up using this a couple times this month just to make sure that like I do still enjoy it and everything and I'm wanting to put it in my project pan and I feel pretty confident that I can put this in here and finish it up. So I do not know how long this will take. Um, but 
we'll see. So this is the first product I'm throwing in here. Next is a brow product. This is the ABH Brow Freeze. Um, this is not my favorite brow freeze kind of product. I actually have one from City Color that is bigger and cheaper and I like a lot more. I find that it holds my brows better. Um, but this one is fine. It gets the job done. Um, so I would like to finish this one up as well. And you can see I do have a lot of progress on here. I feel like it's kind of hard to see on camera like this, especially with this like clear packaging, but you can kind of see it there, just how little there is. Um, I don't think this will take a whole lot of time, but, um, yeah, I want to get this one rolled out as well. I also feel like I hear people saying this product goes off a little bit. So hopefully I can finish this one up before it does that on me. Finally, I obviously had to roll in another one of my Tarte Minis. Um, even though I'm already like working on a lipstick, I don't have any more of the lip glosses to finish up. Um, so we're going to do one of the Lip Surgeon's Lip Tints. Um, the one that I probably would want to put in this project right now is in the shade Alluring. And it's um, currently in, I think, my Deck of Panning project pan. So I am happy getting used out of it there in that project right now. And now I will roll in the shade Dainty here. So this is a pretty light pink color. Um, let's see, we'll compare it. But I think it's pretty wearable. That's dainty right there. Um, it's it's pretty wearable. It's not like the um, most pigmented, darkest color by any means. So I think we can make this work. Um, I'm excited to get another one of these rolled out at some point. Who knows when that may be. But um, yeah, these guys, they all got to go. They all got to get finished up and get out of my collection. So my goal is to always have one of these Tarte mini products in here. And then like when I roll out this um, Bite Beauty lipstick, I can put in another lip product instead that doesn't have to be one of the Tarte ones. Oh my goodness. You are so cute. <sighs> anyway. So goal to finish all of these. Oh, let me roll this one all the way up so you can see. Like there's not a whole lot of product, but this will take a while. So that is my project pan update. Thank you so much for watching. I love doing this project. Um, I really started getting into panning like earlier this year. And this is my first like official round of a project pan. So I love seeing my progress on everything. This is so much fun. Um, and I love just like watching other people's content and everything about this as well. So I hope you're all well. I hope September treats you well. Oh, also I wanted to say, um, I am traveling for a good bit in September. Uh, my boyfriend and I are going to visit my family. So um, progress on this and some other projects may not be quite as grand this coming month, but that's fine. So anyway, I hope you all have a wonderful September, wonderful day, and I will see you next time. Bye!